Hey, what's up, everybody? A uh, common question that I get is, um, you know, how we can go out and kind of customize like paint that we use in Fusion and, and making things look a particular way. So you've just got a simple part in front of you, maybe puzzle cube part. I don't know what it is you're, you want to do. Um, but how do we go out there and make this look like it's actually painted wood? All right, that's a lot of questions I get. So it's actually pretty simple. So let's just start here. Um, let's just by you know, coming up here to the top of the browser, let's right click on this and come into physical material. And I'm gonna first go ahead and make sure this is the right type of wood so we have all the physical properties of it. And you know, you can make it whatever you want, but I'm just gonna say in my case, hey, I'm making this all out of pine and it looks like pine, that's great, all right? But how do we go out there and make uh, this look like painted wood? Well, if we right click where we, where we were just at, if we come to appearance, Okay, we can come down and we can start looking through many different things. So I'm going to look at my Fusion 360 appearances. And if you come down here to the bottom, uh, you're going to see wood solid folder. If you pick on that, you're going to see that we do have some different uh, folders we can pick from. So painted is one of them. So I'm going to go ahead and pick on painted. And you can see you have all sorts of different things here that you can use. Just note that if it's showing the arrow over to the right, that means it still needs to be downloaded first in order for you to use it. Okay, so if I came out here to like 3D Walnut painted and I to apply it to it, uh, it's kind of sweet. You can come in here and actually see like the grain of it, um, but it's also going to be the color of the paint that you want to use. Uh, let's just take a look here at maple. What's that going to look like? You know, same sort of thing. Uh, ash, see if that's going to change it up. I think they're all kind of looking the same. Now, nah, this one's showing a little bit more porous material on the ends. That's kind of cool. Uh, and so on. All right, so you have all those that you can use. So I'm gonna go ahead and just roll with uh, walnut, let's say. I'm gonna apply that, that green walnut sort of color to it. So up here at the top, we can see our 3D walnut uh, painted. If we right click on this, now we can do a duplicate of it. And I'm gonna come over here, right click on it and do an edit. Uh, but this time I'm gonna say that, um, we're just gonna uh, call this like green uh, painted wood is what we're going to call it. And we're just going to keep it that current color. So it's green painted wood. I'm going to right click on this now and do a duplicate again. But this time when I do the edit, I'm going to say that this is going to be red painted wood. All right. And now I can just come down here to the slider bar and I can send this all the way over and then just take my sample right off that, that, you know, sort of palette. I'm going to go ahead and say done. And now we can see that red is there. All right. So I can drop that on it. And now it's red. Okay, I'm gonna right click on this again, do a duplicate, right click on it and say edit. And now I'm gonna change this and get this closer over to my oranges. And I'm gonna go ahead and say done on that. And now I can see that that is, I forgot to change this. So let's do this as orange. Okay, and we can say done on that. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and do a duplicate again. I'm gonna say edit. And this will be my last one. I'm gonna say that this one is blue. So blue painted wood, and now I can slide this over on my slider bar, get to my blues, get my sample, and say done. Okay, so once you have those set up, okay, green painted, red painted, orange, blue, whatever, what I recommend you do is right click on this, all right, and just send this to add to favorites for all of them. Add to favorites and add to favorites. Okay, so we're done with that. I'm going to go ahead and do a, just do a save on this. Okay, and now next time when I create a file, okay, I'm gonna come out here and just make a piece. If we do an extrusion on this. What's fun is, is that you can now right click up here, go into your appearances. Okay, and no, even though it might not be showing up here in the library, you can come over here to favorites and look at that. Your favorites are now going to be stored in here and you can make it red, you can make it the orange color, Okay, the green, the blue, whatever. All right, those are all gonna be stored in your favorites and now you can use those for all your parts. All right, so it's just a real quick and easy way to kind of get these, uh, you know, these set up real quick just by, you know, taking one and duplicating it over and over and over, changing the name, changing the color, and you're gonna have some really nice wood grain texture. So there you go. That's how we take care of appearances for like painted wood grain using Fusion.